something older, something I haven't played since I was a kid. I don't know, it just popped up on my Steam. Well, it didn't pop up, but it, I saw it on Steam, and I was like, we could go through this again. As much as I'd love to play Doom, which is definitely like one of my favorite games, like the old old Dooms. I haven't, I've, I've seen a lot of Eternal, but I haven't played it. Um, the original Doom games are like my favorite games as a kid. I played them religiously. And um, Hexen was really fun as well. So, yeah, I think we're going to start off by doing some Hexen and eventually moving over to playing some other Doom games like the you know, Master Levels, Doom 1, 2, um, Plutonia and TNT and stuff like that. I, <laughs> I wanted to play something else on Steam, but uh, apparently on Thanksgiving their search and their cart and their other functions are down at the moment. This was this is on my list to play relatively soon though, so this works out still. Other than that, we are running the game through uh, Z Doom because if you try to run it through Steam, it emulates it through um, DOSBox, which puts it at the resolution of what it originally came in, and it uh, makes the game almost impossible to tell what's going on. And also, it's just, just gross. And also, there's no like the controls don't seem to be re remappable without editing a config file. And I was like, okay, we could do that, or we could just download an alternative source port, uh, you know, engine to run the game. So here we are. I didn't realize it wasn't clicked in the game, so it was all quiet. So we are going to be... This game is... It came out in 1995. It was right after Heretic, which was a little bit after Doom. And I don't recall what time... Or what duration of time that Duke Nukem came out around all of that as well. We used to play the crap out of Duke Nukem as kids. My mom hated that. My dad loved the game. And, um... So, you know. You got to play a lot of those. Like, I kind of grew up on, on games of this era. So, I don't know. It's really fun. Or this will be. We're gonna try to... Ex inspire Conker's Bad Fur Day. Did it really Cobalt? Duke? Yeah, oh, duh. Yeah, that makes sense. Conker's Bad Fur Day was like the, the meme game of its time. Like, it predated most games, like, parodying stuff well. By so many years. The Aliens, um... Resurrection, or the Alien movie ending, and the Matrix, and... All that other stuff. I mean, I've forgotten half of Conker Bad Fur Day's, um references yeah this game's enemies have the same groan as the alien start like beginner enemies in duke nukem as well so it's kind of interesting i mean a lot of these games ran with the same technology just upgraded from here to there i don't know i think this game uses a different um it was programmed a lot differently than original doom though one of these days i'll have to like Rewatch the video on how Doom explains how they did their graphics engine. It was really cool to watch. I already forgot what the term was for it. But, um, yeah, just making everything look 3D. But, um, yeah, so I, I, I think I've got this engine, or I think I got all the settings sorted out. I had to turn on auto run. So, yeah, for example, you have all these settings right here. If I was to run the original game through Steam, um, I would have like three options. That's it. And I wouldn't be able to touch pretty much anything other than, like, how, how much HUD you have, which can scope over the edges of the screen. Now I can do everything with this engine. It's freaking beautiful. And so we're going to be playing on the, on the regular difficulty as a cleric. I, I figured. I like his flechettes a lot. You'll see. Fighter was always my favorite as a kid because it's like, whoa, look at all that speed armor and strength he has. And his basic attack hits like a truck. Um, Cleric was kind of the jack of all trades balanced character, also had my favorite, like, um, final weapon. And then the mage, he was really awesome too, because if he ran out of ammo, his basic, his basic weapon was also ranged, and also he's wearing an amulet of glory, so that's always kind of neat. And some kind of cool skull belt. Um, and look at that cool cane he's got. Let me see here. Yeah, the, the, the character art in this game is really cool. I really like it. Although the warrior has a really tiny head. Like, if you compare that to the fact that the helmet is over it, and then, like, the width of his shoulders and everything. Like, he's got, like, a pea head. And then we got our, our big head boy, um, Cleric, over here. So, big brain strat. I mean, look at... Does it not look like a cobalt? <laughs> I guess it'd be a necklace, whatever the necklace version is. Yeah, Headhunter, yeah! <laughs> we can tell the mage likes his video games. 
He's like, oh yeah, look at all this replica equipment I'm wearing. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess that's, oh, it might actually be a skills necklace now. That's awesome. But yeah, we're gonna go with Cleric. So, this game has an inventory system. You can hold on uh, um, health pots of, of some sorts. You can carry these green, like, poison flasks called flechettes. And every character has a different use for them. So, the warrior throws them like explosives. The Cleric drops them like gas bombs. And then the mage... I don't remember what the mage does with them. I think he shoots them out. Yeah, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, we're doing it. going to do cleric. And the difficulty settings, or the skill level, the difficulties are actually um, worded per character. So, like, the cleric can be an altar boy, acolyte, priest, cardinal, or pope. Uh, we're just going to go with priest. I mean, we could probably beat Cardinal. Pope is crazy. Pope is like 250% more damage from... No, I think it, I think Pope makes enemies four times faster and increases their spawn rates by two to three times. It's kind of nuts. I just kind of want to have a trip through this game again. I'm not going to try... I'm definitely going to try not to save it too much. Um, I'll quick save I get the, at the starts and ends of levels. That's it. If I die in one of the levels, we'll just restart the level. This game, so, and the way that this game is built is there are five hubs, which is a really cool concept back then, where you have a hub level, it's got its enemies, it's got its puzzles, it's got its stuff, but it branches off in the portals that you have to find that lead you to its side levels. And each side level has like a puzzle switch, a key, a something you've got to do. And when you do it in all the side levels, the hubs and exit opens, and then you go to the next hub. And you do that until you get to the last level of the game where you beat the crap out of, I think, D-Spiral or D-Spiral or whatever the heck the boss of the game's name is. Um, and he's nuts. This this was a really solid game as a kid, and it had the sound effects and the atmosphere of the levels were done really, really well. This was really cool. So yeah, we'll do Priest. And here we are. So. Hopefully the audio sounds good. Let me know if there's any issues with that. Um... Yeah, you've got your crackling of lightning going on. You can see you have an armor. Um, armor sat in the bottom right. And, uh... Let me get rid of you. Boom. You have your current use item in the middle, which we don't have anything yet. On the... Next to the armor value um, stat, you have, like, the pieces of your ultimate weapon that you have to put together. So later on in the game, we'll start piecing together our ultimate weapon for the character, which is different per class. Um, we have our life, we have our blue mana, our green mana. So blue, blue mana is for weapon 2, green mana for weapon 3, I think. I might have that reversed. And then there's the ultimate, the, you know, weapon 4, the one you gotta put together, that takes a little bit of both. I had to blow up the HUD, that's why it looks so ugly. Th this game is not gonna look pretty, it's not supposed to, it came out in 1995. And the enemies react to sound, I believe, so... He, didn't, he, he thought he got a hit on me, but he didn't. So this is 10 health. It'll heal you when you walk over it. It's not a collectible. If you need help. But yeah, first level of the game. So we can look back here and we can actually see a key just chilling. <laughs> you don't have to kill everything in this game, but probably will for the most part. Also, you can jump. Hey, look, there's me. The sound effects are so good. Thank you, Amy. So we see some flechettes there, and we have a portal. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> okay. Booby trap! <laughs> Ooh, I hit him right in the dick. Alright, let's pick up this flechette. Alright, let's see what they do. So I think it's... Enter? Ah! Ah! We're gonna have to change that button a little bit. <laughs> Give me! 
Uh. Alright, let's change the button. Oh no, I can't see my cursor. There we go. Customize controls. Action. So, in order to use our use item... Oh, toggle run is caps lock. Okay. Secondary fire. We don't have a secondary fire. Inventory. Activate item. Yes, this. Um... What does, does R do anything? No. There. Now I can throw those a little easier. Oh yeah, let's go pick up health. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, hello there. We'll go there in just a second. I want to break all this glass. It's fun. There we go. So, quartz flasks are what heal, like, they heal like 25 health, I think. And you can use them at any time. Wow. All that growling, right? So you can kind of circle strafe, it looks like. Okay, let's do this. Let's pop a flechette in here when we uh, see some enemies. God, it sounds like somebody hitting a dog. Ah! Come here, you. Nice. Alright, I don't know secrets. Like, I haven't played this game in a very long time. Ah. Uh, where are you? Oh! A key. There are a lot of traps in this game. Dying is going to become a thing we see. Uh, uh -huh. I wonder why there was a switch behind it. Because I couldn't access this. Oh. Oh. I know roughly where to go because, like, I still have some of this up in memory because my brain memorizes useless crap. Yep. We only have one flechette yet left, so we're gonna save that. Boom. The game's being pretty generous with health right now. Okay. Why do we do that? Uh, ah! Oh no. Okay, they die fast. They make the same sound as the ones from Diablo 1 that die. The little red ones that you that flew around. Nope. Wow, that like made me like move real quick. Oh, can they infight? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, but they can't hurt each other. Oh, they can. Okay, so this has the same AI as Doom. If monsters hit each other and you haven't hit, like, they go after the last thing to hit them, I think. So that's interesting. Now, I know there's going to be a tunnel to a key over here, because we saw that earlier. And if we scroll up and down, okay, it doesn't do anything. It should change our inventory. Ah! Go. But of course. Oh no, we might get crushed! <laughs> I 
That's kind of neat. Okay, so vases can give you stuff. Let's see if fall damage can hurt us. It can. Noted. Alright, so we hit the bell. Does that open up the teleporter in the starting room? Oh, what up? It does. So I bet you this finishes the level. Oh, hi. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh, no, the file path of my user profile. Are you ready to die? Like, how cool was that to see as, like, a six-year-old, right? Back in the day. So, welcome to the first hub. This is called the Seven Portals. There are 61 monsters here. And lots of enemies! Let's begin killing them all. I don't think anything in this game responds, luckily. So once you kill them, they die forever. Just like real life. We'll get a new weapon soon, I'm pretty sure. Not that we want to use a lot because, you know, mana. So that goes up and down. Don't care about kill Bat Bro later. Lots of flechettes because we're probably going to fight enemies that suck. And mana! Yeah, the warrior can kill these guys in three hits. This guy takes six. The warrior's basic attack, though, he does two regular punches, and then he just haymakers you. He, he does the justice. So we can see six portals level, also has six doors, and then on the other side, there is a door to the next hub. And this hub has tons of stuff. So we'll save at the beginning of every hub if it doesn't automatically do that. Uh, let's see, this one. This one. How do we open these doors again? Uh, let's see here. Wait, do we have to go through here? Let's see. Hmm. Alright, time to remember how to do this. Oh, yeah, it's probably this button. Oh, hi. No, they can't go through the door! My flechette! Wasted! Oh yeah, they can't, never mind. Get wrecked. Look at that death animation. Oh god, yeah, they shoot fireballs, by the way. And was that enemies back here? Oh! New weapon! Alright, so. We have our first weapon. The Serpent Staff. So there's no alternate fire on I don't know why the game has an alternate fire button. I guess that's just in general, there's an alternate fire option. So let's try this bad boy out on the next enemy we see that's worth it. I recall this, this weapon, if you were up close to enemies, could steal life from them. I love how it actually blinks. Yeah, like, so I'm pretty sure the way this weapon works, and I don't know if you have to have mana to do it, but, like, you can shoot, but if you're up next to them, you'll you'll you have a vampire effect. Like a vampiric attack. Alright, you know, as I say, I always check behind the next level's portal. Wow, we can get really close to this thing. Okay, so the game saves automatically. I'm not too worried about dying then. Ah! Yeah, see, that's the life seal. No! I thought I pressed E, but I pressed R. And why did I even press E? Sorry, I need to check one thing real quick. I have, might have a package coming today or tomorrow for something that's kind of important. 12-1, never mind. 
All right, so we have successfully poisoned ourselves. Let's test out that lifesteal. Oh boy. Ah. Ah! Oh my god. Nice. It works well! Amulet of Warding. I think that gives you defense for a minute. What an awesome weapon. We don't want to burn all that mana, though. We're gonna treat mana like potions in Skyrim. You know what I'm saying? We'll basically have, like, all of it by the boss of the game. Also, that would have been a really good spot to use my shots, huh? I don't know how many of them you can hold. Oh, uh, I just healed one health with that. Okay. What? Ah! What the hell? I was just trying to see what to do. So I'm pretty sure that the other ones would have crushed me. We're gonna kill the other one with that. Man. Nice. Oh, we have a door open now. They don't trust you. Yeah, I thought so. Eh. That death animation always so cool. Alright, so maybe maybe we go to the next one. I don't know if these portals all open in order, or if like more than one opens at a time. I don't think it matters though. Ooh. Right. The floor is lava. Ah. A good level to use our mana up, I guess. Let's see here. Oh, so the defense items actually just work automatically. Okay. I see. Yeah, I have five armor value right now, or armor count, armor something, AC. And I think after taking enough damage, it, it, it'll break the item that gave you the defense, if, I'm, if I remember right. And then we have 10. One third of the puzzle has been solved. Yes, what a puzzle. Does it take mana to suck? Let's find out. Yes. No! Crap. Take that. Are there other enemies? Oh, there's tons. I just haven't gotten to them yet. Ah. <laughs> so awesome yeah right now we're still in like the intro but there's gonna be a lot more stuff the game gets really hard i know there's a boss that like i never beat on the like it always took me like 20 tries to beat him as a kid maybe at 20 but it, he beat my butt regularly okay that's a door that requires a fire key that requires a fire key and that's just a wall all right. I know there's some platforming here somewhere. Yeah, right here. If you fall, you die. Oh my god, I thought I fell. Let's get the hell away from here. I don't like platforming. <laughs> Not in games like this. Was that the fire key? Or was that something else? I didn't even read. Yeah, it wasn't the fire key. Hmm. 
Kind of pointless to kill those guys, right? Alright, let's see here. Ah! Alright, well, I guess they're gonna come out of the woodwork. So that was that room. Now, what's next from there? So we don't have that. We might have to go back for a minute. I think we have to go back for a minute and we'll get the fire key to go forward again later. Ah! Yeah, see, the game just pops us right back here, which is really cool. Let's see. Is this door open? It is. Um. Yeah. Boom. And we have another room to go in. Definitely should probably be using the flechettes more, because you can only heal 25. And I think we're going to see a new enemy now, if I recall right. Yes, Guardian of Steel. I think we already heard the enemy scream. Yeah, this guy! Ah! They can reflect their shots back at you when they do that. So you gotta play it a little safe, otherwise um, you're gonna eat your own medicine. Yeah. Oh, and they also get stun locked by these. <laughs> How beautiful. Alright, I think we found the number one use for the flechettes. <laughs> the Minotaur, or the uh, Centaurs. Oh, hi. Ooh, he got me good! Luckily, there's healing. Right, so that doesn't stay pressed. I, I don't know what that does. Oh. Oh, the vampiric effect. Okay, so let's see. I know this level has secrets, I just don't know what they are. Let's see, does it open up something over here? Perhaps? No. Come here, you. Thank you. Oh, they block automatically when that happens. Look at the legs on him. Come on, you. Let's not get hit by him a million times. Oh no! He's too far! Oh, wait. Yeah, this level has plenty of mana. Maybe you have to press both these buttons at the same time fast enough? I don't know. Yep, no idea what that does. Let's kill this guy with the mace. For all time's sake. Weird, I thought we took damage. Alright, so let's go up here. You can only make, tell that he's getting damaged at a very rapid rate. What the hell does that do? Oh, there's another one. Never mind, that was the same one. Let's leave that for him. Ah! Sorry, that's probably like really, really loud. Hmm. Let's go finish off this guy. Never mind. We need a steel key for that. I wonder. Does that open this? 
perhaps? No. No. What? I wonder if we're only supposed to be able to get so far. And we have to like backtrack a few times. Ah! Crap. Alright, well, I think we found the next area to go. I need to stop pressing R when I mean to press C. we have to press for the uh for the next level of the hub or to get to the next hub from our hub i wish i could figure out what those buttons did or what okay. these are i think these are opened up by the key i think that's what opens these okay. well we've been down there we just don't know how to get in the middle room down there maybe that's part of it also we don't know how to get to him but also, we just don't know what, uh, the buttons do. These guys. Normally, you can see on the map when something happens, but I can't tell. Hmm. That's fine. Let's go back for now. See if another level in the main hub opened up. We'll explore until we figure it out, right? Oh, we have this guy open now. Okay, let's see if any of this opened up. No. I don't remember how to get in there. Nice. Good timing. Um, we have plenty of mana left. And the game just gave us a bunch more. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I ain't getting close to him. time sir all right so that light is a death trap Woo. come down buddy that was kind of scary thank you we'll fill our health up here so i'm not too worried and the game's pretty generous about saves so far too like we never go more than like a minute back worth of effort No. Okay, I get how to dodge their attacks now. As I fail to dodge their attacks repeatedly. Alright, now we're in... We have 10 out of 51 monsters killed in Guardian of Ice. Let's see how we do it. Immediately fails to dodge their attacks. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've seen through your attack! I just don't have the ability to dodge it. Ah! What the hell? The back fell out. Oh my god. 
Looks like 25 is the cap. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate. this way. It's not shooting at us. Ah! What the hell? Will that work? No, it certainly will not. That will, though. This idiot just stuck up here. <laughs> so what did all these fancy buttons even do, I wonder? <clears throat> Let's find out. <clears throat> okay, just checking. You never know. Can we go this way? Or we can risk our life going this way for an holy urn. I don't care about urns. I don't even know what they do. Alright. Done. Hey. <laughs> was this, like, supposed to be the monster toilet? Or was that, like, literally the doom definition of, like, a monster closet? most inaccurate trap. So yeah, there's a torch and an urn. I don't remember what those do. I'm pretty sure the torch probably just does literally what a torch does, you know, and brightens up rooms. And the urn probably gives you like full health or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm not interested. Yeah, I see that guy sitting up there and I don't like that. Ah. Oh, oh no! Game, why would you do that to me? Not cool, bro. Not cool at all. No! Ah! Why do I keep doing <sighs> My armor is 8 now? So I think after taking 100 health worth of damage, you lose an armor value. Or you lose the last item that's stacked. Or like the first... The earliest item that you've picked up on the stack of items you've gotten that gives you armor. I can't remember how it works. Yeah, each... Oh, uh, crap. So yeah, you'll... As you get hit, you'll start losing. It's kind of like, it's like a weird way of doing the way Doom used to do armor, where it just was a like a certain chunk of the health you took just was also armor instead. Um, yeah, I take reduced damage, but I also lose armor over time. Yeah, what are these? Ah. What? You're one dodgy boy. Alright, let's not run into our own trap again. I think I'll go around it, yeah. Why? Why do I press buttons that hurt me? Ah, look at that. Now we have the fire key for the other level. I was right. Let's go this way. I don't like this. Yep. Run. Run. I don't want to fall and die.
Wait, the ice is gone. Yeah, you move weirdly on ice. That's that's the reason I didn't dodge that guy's attack, promise. What is the point of this? Oh! There's a key up here. Is this a key we just don't have permission to get yet? So the wall behind it looks active. And then this corner. And this wall right here. I guess we'll find out what, what these things do later. If it's anything like the fire key, we probably just need to come back to it. Also, let's pop one of these for once, huh? Yeah. I accidentally stepped on the portal. <laughs> oh well. Alright, what level was the fire level? It wasn't this, right? No, that was the other one. Let's pick up this mana, though. You get 15 shots per mana thing. That's pretty good. Fire level was... This one. Let's see if I can do it without getting hit. Nope. And it opens up a door, and let me guess. Oh, it's opening up a door. No! Wrong button! I wanted to... Switch to you. Okay. Oh. You wanna go? Wanna have it at me? And they said two heads is better than one. Mm -hmm. This way it is. No! Ah! And just like that, <laughs> we used up a ton of blue mana. Goodbye. Sounds like that's going to teleport me somewhere random. Oh, this is the other side, probably. Okay, so that's that. Oh yeah, we, we have a map, why don't we use it, huh? Is this teleporter the only reason we came in here? I think it is. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no! We now have only three armor value left. Okay. That means you just open back up. Stairs have risen in the, on the seven portals. Hell yeah. Oh, what? Hell no. Game. You can't just do that. Oh, this is a new room. They can, actually. <laughs> Mana Conservation 101. Before we go to the next floor, I want to go see what's up those stairs. Oh. Alright, let's make sure we know where the hell we are first. Alright, so we're just first right. Okay. Alright. Lots of, lots of health. Ooh, what is this? Dragon skin bracers. I don't know what that does. Also, I see buttons, I press them. Can 
Can we fall down the other way? Yeah, this guy's still locked up nice and tight. And we need to go this way. No. Wait, where did you come from? This one, yeah, okay. I remember from old bodies. So dragon skin bracers are a used item, huh? I don't know what that does. Let's check. Be interesting to know. Temporary, grant me four extra armor class. Okay. I'm down with that. But yeah, Cobalt, I'm just, um, when you guys are, um, I don't know what time you guys are heading on over, but when you are, I'll wrap up for sure. Alright, let's check out the next room. Oop, dirt. What? Why are we back here? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh no. We're going all Skyrim on that mana. I feel like we don't have to do this. There's also another exit we never took. beginner monsters workout plan. I mean, they're pretty jacked. They don't even skip leg day either. Alright. Let's go down here and look at this one. N A. Let's go back to the ice level and see if that key opened up. Let's also be careful not to get killed by these things. Hey. Look, I bounced off of it. Let me answer this real quick. Looks like it is dog walking time. Ah! Game. So let's wrap this up real quick. And we're gonna go take the dogs out real fast. So that area we went to before was up here. Right? Or was it not? No. Uh oh. Don't know where to go. Holy crap. Oh, look, a button. And I see another button. But of course. Expert platforming skills. Look at that. Look at that. Need to wrap it up in a second. 
looks like a good spot. So yeah, we'll call it there for now. Take the dogs for a walk, get ready for a uh, Thanksgiving setup and stuff like that. So yeah, um, F6. You want a quick saver game? Call it quick save. I absolutely do. All right, so that was uh, that was Hexen start part one. We almost made it through the first hub. Um, really fun game so far. Uh, I mean, it was before, so why wouldn't it be now? But we'll be getting through this for the next couple of streams, most likely. We might switch back and forth between this and Diablo 3 because um, we we'll to keep our momentum. We still got to get back to Hades eventually, too. Oh, God, I'm going to be so rusty in that one. Yeah, um, you should stop on my Colby, and uh, take care.